Romeo and Juliet is one of William Shakespeare's earliest dramatic works. For over 300 years, this tragic love story has delighted audiences around the world. It is with great pleasure that we now present Romeo and Juliet. One scene one. It's another family feud in Verona. The capital is the villains. The monsters are the fools. Villains, fools. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah. Act one, scene five. Enter Romeo, a hopelessly romantic 16 year old kid who's trying to lose his virginity. Nothing much is happening when suddenly there she is, the delightful, the delicious, the delectable Juliet. She's only 13, but who's counting? Not Romeo. So he says to her, Dear maiden, my lips do blush and pilgrims ready stand. They kiss and fall madly in love. Act two, scene two, the famous balcony scene. Juliet's on the balcony, Romeo's in a bush. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, where for up there, Romeo? They kiss a lot, and the next thing you know, they're married. That's it for the love story part. Now it's time for the tragedy. Act three, scenes one, two, and three. Tipple the real macho type kills some minor character named Mikusha. Then Romeo says, draw thy sword. They fight. <laughs> Romeo wins, but Romeo is banished from Verona anyway. Act 4, scenes 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Juliet's old man tells her to marry the goody-goody Paris, but she doesn't want to. So the fat bar makes Juliet a really stiff drink, which makes it seem like Juliet's dead, but she really isn't. So the wedding is canceled, and they have a funeral for Juliet instead. Act 5, scenes 1, 2, and 3. Romeo hears that Juliet's dead, but she really isn't. He takes some poison and says something that makes absolutely no sense at all. Thou desperate pilot, thou at once run under dashing rocks, they see sick weary bark. Then Juliet wakes up, but she thinks Romeo's dead, so she kills herself with a knife and says, ah! And this makes everyone sad, so the family say enough's enough, and then they're all friends and everything's okay. <laughs> <laughs> 